All right, Aaron, so just a couple of things. The one over on the left, remember when your dad walked away, we said, hey, let's see that little drill where we actually feel like we're kind of in close to the ball, but we're standing up real tall. And then we have to try and feel like we have to push the hips back, right? You know, a little bit during the back backswing. So if we watch this one here coming back, let's just see how, how we did. Do you notice up towards the top of the swing now how kind of solid this looks? Like you can see how your head hasn't moved really far outside of that red line and your hips are almost again, or your tailbone's almost against that red line, right? If you look what you normally do, when you go way out on your toes, do you see a little bit of a difference between those two? And you see the difference in his left arm angle, right? Which means that the golf club should start to come down just a little bit shallower, more from the inside, inside, and then square. Do you see the spacing with his arms right there, Doug? Compared with being in here, where he's all stuck in, cramped up. Do you see the difference there? Okay, mm -hmm. so I think that would be a fantastic way for you to hit all your little practice shots between now and, and your tournament. Does that make sense? So you just stood tall and you tried to feel like I got to get my hips going back a little bit as opposed to forward. So if you look at that, Aaron, and then you take a look at, you know, my favorite swing to look at, Adam Scott, you look pretty similar there, don't you, bud? And if you look at him at the top of the swing, see his head never moved outside of that line and his tailbone stayed <coughs> right on that line, even got a little bit deeper, right? And you're starting to create a little bit of that same same look there. Okay, and then you can really fire through and you can see the nice finish you put yourself into. If we go and grab your driver, I want you to look at this now. So here, again, we tried to have you stand up a little bit, and we wanted you to get the feeling like up towards the top of the swing, your weight was back towards your heel a little bit more, right? Mm -hmm. So remember the first couple of drives, you kind of went underneath them, and they kind of floated a little bit to the right. Besides, you just have to get his shoulder angles set a little better here, right? Mm -hmm. But if we look at... Ah, wrong one. Hold on. Just get the left arm in front of him a little bit more instead of over on the side. So if we go there and here, watch this. Oh, you almost stayed against it perfectly, right? So then coming in, he came from the inside again. That good or That's really good, bud, to start off. So it's better than being super far forward where I can push you over with one finger. So I'd have him work on that move. Stand, stand up a little taller feel like you got to push your hips back a little bit during the backswing or you feel like your weight's back towards your right heel at the top of the backswing.